everyone thank you for coming back to my channel i'm stephanie if you are new here so it is february 11th and i just did my grocery shopping sometimes i do it a little bit sooner that so i can get in the groceries that we need for the rest of the month if you guys have followed we do some food storage and stuff so i have a lot of that with me right now so i have our pantry restock stuff and i always try to share that with you guys also let me know in the comments down below if you have a pantry that you guys stock up on food if you guys have stuff like that like a food storage area that you store all your stuff we been doing spices lately and canned goods and every time that i go grocery shopping i pick up a couple more to add to our shelf so what i also do is i take pictures of our pantry and then i sit down and see what is missing in our pantries so we have three pantries that we stock with things so we have our snack pantry we have two pantries out in the garage one is our emergency one and one is just our like everyday canned goods and stuff like that so we store everything to the most part out in the garage some of the groceries that i got today are things that we keep in our freezer and then we just pull them out when we need them i have been doing more with hamburger lately and storing that in a different way i'm going to be doing something different again this month with that i'm going to try something out the years that we got hamburger like we had um, i think last year was like a quarter of a cow and we stored that and this year hopefully we can do that again and then we also had our pig our pigs and then um we butcher our turkeys and our chicken so we always have extra meat and stuff on hand if i don't pick it up from grocery shopping so we have a bunch of freezers and fridge out in the garage that we store a lot of our food in and this stuff is things that we tie in for the rest of the month so like we do breakfast lunch and dinner here because i homeschool and i'm home with the kids so we need a lot of food on hand for the kids to get through the week and through the month so i try to get all of what we need for the rest of the month and then if we need extra things lauren will get stuff whenever we need it or i'll just do a smaller grocery pickup order if you guys haven't already i have a link down below in the description if you guys sign up for the first time you get 20 dollars off your first uh sign up so I think you get to use that $20 towards your grocery shopping on that uh, on that order. So that's a good deal. Um, I will leave that in the comments also, and uh, you can do that. So if you sign up, I think you get like um, free shipping and things to your house, and that is nice. Also, I know with the pickup order, if you spend $35, um, then you don't get charged for doing it. So... It is a good deal. Um, I do the Walmart pickup all the time. I just did a thing on my page about like what grocery stores you guys go to. Um, leave them in the comments down below. I would like to hear where you guys all go for your grocery shopping. I know a lot of people were sharing like they go to Aldi's and Myers and different places that I haven't even heard yet. So for me, I usually go to Walmart just because I like the pickup um, to do the pickup order but also all these has that too myers has that we have a festival here um that place and myers is a little more priced out so i don't always go there but i know that some people were saying that they have good deals so maybe i need to go see what i can find there i'm not ready for costco yet i did do a costco membership i kind of let that go because we weren't going often enough to even use it so maybe when the kids get a little bit older and we need more food than we are doing now then maybe i'll go and i'll get bigger bulks of food um but the things that i get for like the month of grocery shopping are things that we uh have enough room for right now and store what we have so all right well we're gonna get started here so i'll show you everything that i got i have everything kind of lined up in sections on how we put it away so i'll go over that too okay so we're gonna start on this side first i'll just go over like our freezer stuff and some of our meat and I did end up getting a big box of eggs this time only because I think this was $13 for a box. So we are selling our farm fresh eggs for $4 a dozen. I usually just get store ones to do hard boiled eggs because I don't want to use up what I have for chicken eggs. So um, these we usually do like 36 at a time for hard boiled eggs and there is 60 eggs in this box so yeah i think it was like 13 bucks or something like that so that is super cool and then i have some chicken breast right here or chicken 
breast tenderloins. We usually just cut this up and make rice with it and then like a side. Pizza rolls usually for like our lunches. We got the kids a bunch of applesauce. And then um, our pizzas, we got the Great Value Rising Crust with two of the home run pizzas. These are really good. Two cheese jacks. Showed the kids this recently and they really like it. So I got a couple of these. So the uh, marinara sauce dippers. And I got another one. I thought I got four of them. Maybe not. Maybe just two. Kids will probably like this. It's a bacon cheeseburger pizza. Two regular pepperoni pizzas. And I've been really liking these bags of chicken. I found that this is cheaper than buying out the regular stuff that's like packaged. I don't know. I just found it was a little bit cheaper and easier to use this way than trying to get this out if it's frozen. I'm not really good at like bringing meat out ahead of time. Um, what I do is I just stick chicken in the instant pot and cook it up really quick. So these are just very convenient for me. So these are three pound bags. This is boneless chicken breast another one of them and i have three all together for that chicken strips i have one bag of them and i have three bags of the breaded chicken breast patties and we make them on buns or we cut them up and use wraps with them so that is them are really good i have four bags of these seasoned rotisserie the kids have been liking this too with just frying up some rice and sides with it and last time i bought two family size and it wasn't enough for us so it probably would just be cheaper if i just did my own rotisserie chicken and cut it up and did the same thing but for timing for lunches and stuff this is quick and easy some packages of chicken nuggets right here usually i get bigger bags so i'm not sure if they like substituted it for a smaller bag and then just made two of them out of it chicken nuggets a big bag the gorilla six there are 50 in there and two things of waffles we go through waffles quite a bit for breakfast i have two big things of hamburgers so these are 10 pounds a piece i've been cooking this up ahead of time storing it in my freezer but we're going to be doing something different this month and i will share that with you in another video um, so this area right here is our snack pantry that we have in the house. And I will show you that when I do that video, I will label that the snack pantry restock. And we always put some oatmeal in there. So I have dinosaur oatmeal. I have regular instant oatmeal. So just plain oatmeal and they can put this in smoothies or whatever they want to put them in. And then I also thought I had maple brown sugar ones i don't think i got them so i'm gonna have to pick that up all right so i have oh they're over there oh okay yeah because i thought i did all right okay so i have two things of the maple brown sugar and then two of the plain ones we also store oatmeal in mason jars in different containers in the house and out in our garage and we store that as part of our pantry restock um, so we have a re like our snack pantry restock, and then we also have stuff that we store on the garage for long term. And one of the kids said that we needed some saltine crackers, so I got some of them. And I got um, some of these protein bars. I don't know how many are in here. Ten bars. So mainly for Gage, he likes stuff like that. All right, and then we have, we always get these kind of granola bars. And these are the chocolate dipped ones. And the regular just regular granola bars so that is part of the snack area and then for the chips well i got some sunflower seeds too because i'm going to be making something with them um for the chips we have flaming hot doritos um the ranch kind i tried getting flaming hot regular doritos and this is what they gave me instead and in smaller bags jalapeno cheese a thing of mild we always get that and these are really good the kettle cooked jalapeno chips um some cheetos flaming hot cheetos some sun chips um regular nacho doritos two bags of spicy nachos dill pickles and two bags of the barbecue chips and 
a bag of Cool Ranch, and a bag of sour cream and onion. Okay, so when it comes to our chips and stuff, we always have chips on hand and we keep it underneath the pantry, but the kids aren't allowed to just take them out whenever. So we have them for lunch and different snack times. Um, but a lot of times I buy chips and we just store them in there and a lot of times they don't even get used. So I just buy them so that we have them. I know I had a really different comment on one of my grocery hauls about um some of the stuff that i buy my kids and have for my kids so these aren't things that get eaten like at one time these are things that are controlled and in a different way that maybe most people would think so i just want to put that out there um but i do buy snacky foods that is just what we have on hand for our kids but we also have main meals and stuff that we have other than what I share. A lot of times too, I have things that I don't share on my grocery hauls just because I we already have it on hand because we do food storage, so hopefully that helps. So I bought some of these chicken salad kits. We like to have these on crackers. It's mainly two of my kids that like to eat these. And then uh, I have four packages of hot dogs. We will be probably freezing some of them. And then some mini uh, mini dogs, one of the kids asked for that. Uh, some chocolate chips, we ran out of them. I have a thing of the buffalo chicken, we always like this one. I do have more in the fridge right now, so I only got this because I have a bunch of different kinds on hand right now. So I just got a pound of that. I have the regular deli style tuna salad. I have a bunch of packs of them and spicy. We also like them. These are really, really good. Um, they're infused, let's see, tuna, and then 200 grams of, is it 20? Oh, 20 grams of protein. So I got four of them. To have go -Gurt. I got this kind, I'm sure. Strawberry and mixed berry we got, and how many are in here? Uh, 16 are in there. We still have some in our refrigerator, um, but I'd like to have more on hand. We haven't gotten these in a while. If you guys seen some of my past grocery hauls, we would buy like so many of these, um, but I only got a couple this time. So cookie dough and almond coco loco is like our favorite one. And then, so I got a couple of them. Oh, I guess that's all I have and one cookie dough. So we'll see how that goes and maybe if the kids still want them, I'll get more. We do this uh, crab delight. So we just cook these up either with potatoes or one of my kids just cooks it up in the pan and they just eat it with salt and butter. Um, and I got four of them. Usually we go through, how many do we go through Hudson? If we were to do them, all four, all four. do you think? Okay. If it's all of us. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's just Hudson, then he'll just cook up one of them. I have two things of butter here. We have the coarse uh, Parmesan. We have some sour cream. I'm going to be making a wedding cake for my son, and we're going to do a trial run, so I need sour cream. I have three things of yogurt. I have a bunch of cheese here, so mozzarella, Mild cheddar, Colby Jack, Fiesta Blend. I still have a couple bags in my fridge, um, but we use them up pretty quick. Thing of regular, just sliced cheese for sandwiches and some Velveeta cheese for queso. And then sliced provolone for sandwiches. Um, I did get canned nacho cheese. They substituted for this. And this is the same thing. It's pretty good. Um, and this is just like single serve little containers. And I got some active dry yeast. I'm going to be trying something out with some different style bread. We do a lot of sourdough, but also I want to try something different. I also got um, a dry yeast container right there. I'm going to be using that also. Some of the recipes call for um, either a packet or you know, whatever you measure it out to be. So I got both. For our fruits and veggies, I didn't get cauliflower this time and I should have, um, but I'll get that on another order. So we got a bunch of things of broccoli. I'm going to be making a salad with some of this. And then one of my kids usually just steams it up. I got some onions, um, some greens, red onion for the salad, and then a regular onion um, for something else. When it comes to like this kind of stuff, I don't store a lot of this because we don't have a good area for us to store it. So you don't see a lot of the fruits and vegetables in a bigger um, 
Like we don't buy a lot of it just because we can get it throughout the week or the rest of the month. We can just pick it up. I got two things of carrots. We have a bunch of rabbits. So we have eight rabbits. So every once in a while, we'll give them a little treat. And then um, a thing of strawberries. I have a bunch of fruit in my fridge right now. So I don't have a lot of fruit on this order. We got some bananas. The kids make smoothies all the time. And I have three things of the green lettuce and we will be using that for salads sandwiches and rabbits oh i have how many do i have one two three four five of them and we will use that up and then we have some grapes and i have two things of cabbage so I, i'm going to be doing either putting this in that salad or i'm going to be giving some of this to the chickens um, I have two things of potatoes. I ordered a 10 pound bag, but I got two five pound bags. Another thing of apples and two things of cantaloupe. Okay, so I know I had a lot of people question about doing the pickup order when it came to fruit. And I feel that they probably pick out better fruit than I would pick out. I'm not really picky about it. And I know a lot of people are. And that was one concern that people have with doing the pickup order is that they need to have what they want as in quality. And I've never really had a problem with any of the fruit on the pickup order. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, this last order that I did, I did go pick up an order and I didn't get some of the stuff. So when I called the next day, I stated that I didn't get my order. Some of the stuff on my order, I went to go pick it up and they had it ready for me. And it was just off to the side. So it was just kind of like an accidental thing. And they ended up giving me a gift card for the inconvenience. So that was pretty cool. So um, I really haven't had a problem with the pickup order. And I've been doing this since uh, when COVID happened. Um, so I just been keep doing that and I haven't had any problems. So hopefully that helps. And like I said, I will leave that link down below and you guys can sign up for that if you want to. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys already are doing the pickup order. I would like to know that. For our breads, we have two packs of hot dog buns and then hamburger buns. This will be for our chicken patties. This will be for our hot dogs. And then we do a lot of chicken wraps. So I have four things of wraps so there's 10 in a thing and we have 10 people in the house so that goes pretty quick and then i have a package of bagels i thought i got another package of bagels so i'm gonna have to get more of them but um and there is six bagels in there and a lot of us like bagels lately i got a couple of packages of lentils i'm going to be doing a video on this so i'm not going to share with you guys right now you'll have to come back and see what i do with these but i'm hoping this is going to help with something that um i want to just try out so i got a couple packages of these otherwise if we get beans or dry beans or dry rice or anything like that we store them in mason jars out in our garage because that's the only way that we can have large amount of food in a safer way so we just store it out in the garage all right so for our pantry i have a bunch of pantry food this is the stuff that goes in our emergency pantry and our everyday use pantry out in the garage all right so i have one two three four five cans of corn and i have one two three four things of green beans i have a can of sauerkraut I've never tried a can of sauerkraut before, so I'm not sure if that how that tastes. Um, four things of diced potatoes, four things of tomato paste, and two things of this hot dog chili sauce. I'm going to give that a try. I have one, two, three, four, five things of spaghetti sauce, and then one, two, three, four, five things of Tarani caramel and I thought I ordered seven but maybe they didn't have um the full amount so we'll have to get some later but so we'll store that out in our garage also and then for our fruit we have the fruit cocktail and I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think of them and then for our pineapple, we have four things of pineapple and four, let me see, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And our peaches, we have four things of peaches. We have four things of pizza sauce. We are getting kind of low with that, so I get that. And then I got this brand, uh, 
sauerkraut organic kraut i have two of them i do have a different kind out in the garage and it was okay but i wanted to try something different um we also store nutella out in our garage and i thought this would be kind of fun for the kids it's uh just like a squeezed peanut butter i don't know if that's gross or not but um we'll see how the kids like that and then we needed extra creamy peanut butter I have a thing of soy sauce. Um, I think my husband just picked one up too. So we have two of them, I think. I don't know if we have any more than that out in the garage. I got this big thing of minced onion. This was cheaper than getting some of the smaller ones, but I think I ended up getting, oh no, maybe, oh, let's see what I, no, I didn't. Okay, so this was cheaper than getting some of the smaller ones. So I got a big one of them. I have two things of sesame seeds. We're going to be making something with that. And then for our paprika, one, two, three, four of them. And then our parsley, one, two, three, four. And our garlic powder, one, two, three. And then what else do I have? Ground cinnamon. I was, um, I used up the last of our ground cinnamon, so I needed to get more on the shelf. We also have two things of Dijon mustard, and I got some of this lemon juice, so we're going to try some of that out. Um, we use lemon juice for just regular things. I don't know, so we always have this on hand. And then here is that active dry yeast, and I got two things of just regular mustard and a thing of mayo and what else i have two of these so i got two of them i've been using these up a lot lately when i share the stuff that i get for like our pantry our uh, emergency pantry or a can pantry um i what i share on here is just like a small amount of what we already have so i just give you guys like an idea of what i get so that we restock what we already have i will do another uh pantry restock video so you guys will see where we put all of these groceries um and i will list that throughout the month i always try to do that within a week or so from my grocery shopping um, so if you guys are interested in stuff like that, I think I have a playlist on my grocery hauls and my pantry restocks. So you guys can go check that out. I'll leave that down in the description. You guys can see, um, where we put a lot of our food. One of the things that we store out in our garage too is flour. So a lot of times with us storing a flour, we have to put them in mage jars and then we seal them up and we do them in a different way. So I ran out of flour. I have all different kinds of flour out in the garage. I just ran out of the all purpose unbleached. So I will be putting these in mason jars and I will restock our shelf out in the garage. Um, but I needed to get a lot because we do a lot of different breads and different things with them lately. So I needed to have more on hand. Life cereal, we have some frosted flakes. Uh, um, some Honey Nut Cheerios, some Reese's Puffs, and then some Honey Smacks. We also store cereal in our laundry room. So we have an area above our sink that we store a lot of our food and or like our uh, cereal stuff. But when we don't have room, then we store it in our laundry room. Okay, so some of the stuff that is on this side as for freezer stuff, we have two oh no we have one thing of the butterfly shrimp and then the family size shrimp spring rolls and a package of corn dogs and these are things that we just cook up for lunch um i've been wanting these for a while so i got two packs of these crab legs they've been 20 dollars a pack for the last like couple months. So I decided this month I was gonna splurge and um, get two packs of these. So we will have that for a supper um, one of these nights. So I'm kind of excited for that. And we got some white wine vinegar. I'm gonna be using that for something. And then here is the heavy whipping cream. I'll be making butter out of that. And then I needed some vegetable oil. I think this is for one of the thing, two of the things that I'm going to be making, I always like to have vinegar on hand. Also, we use it for our laundry and just whatever different things around the house. Have some avocado oil. We'll be making something with that. I have things of milk. And how many gallons of milk do we go through a week? Do you remember? Or like how many a day? Two a day. Two. Yeah, two a day. So whatever the math is for two a day for a full month 
of what we go through with milk. I have two things of cranberry juice and I don't always get juice and I've shared that in other videos. Um, my kids can't handle juice that much so we don't always get it but they like the cranberry juice um, so this is the kind that we usually get to. But I think that is everything from this order. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I share a lot of videos like this and throughout the month, I usually share like one grocery haul and then I share pantry restocks and new things that I've been learning throughout the last couple months with um, just like cooking and we have a lot of animals and different things. So I like to share a lot of that with you guys. We also homeschool. I don't share a lot of that on my channel, but I do share, um, some different things. We share a lot of just like our outside stuff, things that I do with the kids and, um, all of that. So if you like any of that, hit to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -huh.